The Indiana Jones movies are definitely a favourite. With its endless suspense, action and mystery, it really has the power to make us feel like anything is possible if you're rugged, ready or brave enough to go get it. It's for the adventurer that's in us that wants to dig through the mundane and discover a world of adventure. And it's clear when they made it, they didn't leave all the discovery to Indy, and that there were a few treasures hidden in there just for us. This series is about making some fan art of that lost hieroglyph. Hi guys, this is Cossador Jonathan here, and welcome to the first of a series that I'll be doing about my favourite easter egg from Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark. And even though this movie is great, the reference material to make this one was hard to work with. And this is not uncommon because most images that I find are not always ideal, and it can be a real task to transcribe off perspective images manually. This is how I deal with reference material perspective correction. It would be great if we could find all of our reference material just from movies. But often it's out of focus and the item doesn't get enough screen time. That's when we have to use other sources. If you are unable to go to an exhibition or expo to take pictures or even acquire detailed plans, Google is a great place to start. Now the image that I have is unfortunately not from the set, but from the great movie ride that sadly closed in 2017. It is comparable, however it's not perfect, but it's the best example that is available and it will have to be good enough. The search for reference material can be annoying. Sometimes we're lucky and the images are exactly what we need, and sometimes the images that we find have been photographed or filmed from a strange angle, which can make it hard to proportionally calculate exactly how things are placed. The simplest method is to utilize an image editing program. I'm going to test two different programs, Pixlr, which is free and online, and Photoshop, which is not free, but very powerful. Let's start with Pixlr. With the Firefox web browser, I type pixlr.com into the address bar. I scroll down the page and I launch Pixlr Editor. I run Adobe Flash and allow with the browser. I open an existing file from the computer. I might have rescaled the image, but it seems to be scaled quite good for the stone tablet. I resize the workspace and image to a size where I can see things better. From the menu bar, I select Edit, and from the drop-down menu, I select Free Distort. Now I have a blue bounding box with circular control points in the corners. I drag out the control points until the corners of the stone tablet meet up with the corners of the image. I must go around a couple of times because the Free Distort action distorts the corners that I have previously lined up. The image does have some warp, but it's satisfactory for detail. I click outside the blue bounding box and apply the free distort. Then from the menu bar I select adjustment, and from the drop down menu I select hue and saturation. I bring the saturation down to minus 100 and click OK. And again from the menu bar I select adjustment, and from the drop down menu I select levels. I move the pointers so that they're on either side of the input levels to get more exaggerated black and white details. And I click OK. From the menu bar, I select File, and from the drop down menu, I select Save. I bring the quality up, and I click OK. If this part doesn't work, consider using Firefox, it seems to be more compatible. I name the file, I click save, and it's done. Now let's look at Photoshop. With the file already open, I zoom right in. From the menu bar, I select edit, and from the drop down menu, I select perspective warp. I drag the bounding box out approximately, and I take my time to line up the control points accurately with the corners of the stone tablet. On the perspective warp menu, I select warp, and then I select the hashtag symbol, which straightens vertically and horizontally. And then I select the check mark to apply. From the menu bar, I select layer, and from the drop down menu, I select new adjustment layer, 
then hue and saturation. Select OK, I bring the saturation down to minus 100. Then, from the menu bar, I select Layer, and from the drop down menu, I select New Adjustment Layer, then Levels. Select OK, and, same as in Pixlr, I bring out the black and white. Then, I select the rectangular marquee tool. I make a selection of the stone tablet. From the menu bar, I select Image, and from the drop down menu, I select Crop. Then, from the menu bar, I select File, and from the drop down menu, I select Save As. I name the file and click Save. Click OK, and I'm done. Out of these, Pixlr is not ideal because it heavily relies on the Distort action. And if I wanted something to be more accurate, I would need to go with an industry standard editing program like Photoshop. However, this is a basic function for both programs. Pixlr requires manual perspective scaling, while Photoshop is automatic. But for correcting reference material, either will be good enough. This image will have to be further transcribed into more detail to be of use, but you'll have to watch the next one in the series for that. If you liked the video guys, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop a comment. And remember guys, break it till you make it. And I'll see you next time.